Welcome to the April 2024 Nanaimo Real Estate Market Update. I'm John Cooper with John Cooper and Associates. We're going to look at the supply and demand side of the real estate market. And I'm going to give you my take as to what impact these statistics are having on the decisions we're helping guide our clients through right now. So whether you're someone that's thinking about getting into the real estate market here in Nanaimo, or maybe already have a holding in the market and are trying to figure out what to do with it, I think you're going to find some of these numbers really interesting. Starting on the single family supply side, units listed 12 months to date. So the 12 month rolling average of units listed this time last year, we're actually down about 10% in the units listed. If we look at the month over month comparison, so March 2023 compared to March 2024, we've seen a 41% increase in units listed. And I think what that's really pointing out, we know we have dramatically increased volatility in the month over month stats. If we go back to March of 2023, that was right when these interest rate concerns were hitting the market and people were concerned about what impact it was going to have. So we've seen consumer sentiment around the market stabilize, and that sees a lot of people that maybe weren't willing to risk it this time last year, feeling like the market might be a little more supportive of their decision to sell. So 41% increase month over month. So you know they are trending upward despite being down 10% 12 months to date. The active listings this time last year, this this year compared to this time last year is up 30% to 300 active single family listings. Okay, on the demand side, okay, month over month we're down 11%. So we actually saw more sales in March of 2023 than we saw in March of 2024. 12 month rolling average we're down about 3%. So we are seeing marginally less sales, but if we look at the sales so the dollar volume as opposed to the units listed, we're down 3.5% 12 months to date, 1.5% month over month. So demand's holding steady with an upward trend starting now in active listings. What impact has that had on the market? Well, 12 months to date, we've seen days on market increase by about 10%. Month over month, it's down about 12%. Kind of inconclusive. What I can tell you is average days on market right now is sitting at just over 30 days. That's a super normal amount of time it takes to sell a home uh, in a traditional market looking at 10-year averages. So nothing to be concerned about there. Prices holding steady. This time last year, the average single family detached home was $845,000. This time it's $840,000. Demand holding steady, the values holding steady in single family detached. Condos, townhouses on the supply side, we've seen a similar increase in units listed. We're up over 10%, whether we're looking at condos or townhouses. On the demand side, we've also seen an increase. Condo demand, units sold is up 10%. Townhouses are up 36%. We're gonna see that town, those townhome sales continue to trend upward as the average Nanaimo family can afford a townhome much easier than they can a single family home with an average price of 840 k for a single family home. Okay, townhouses are selling closer to 500 to 575. Okay, what impact? The average price for a, for a, for a condo is up, it's flat. So there's been 0% increase in condo prices. We've seen a 4.5% percent increase in the average townhome price. Days on market is also increased like in single family homes over 20% still in a very reasonable 30 day time range. What's going on in land? Well, land's been the interesting one. We've actually 12 months to date started to see an increase in land sales, 20% increase in land sales 12 months to date. Okay, what's been what's been influencing? Because if you've followed any of our last reports, you know that land sales had plummeted. We've seen an increase. That's a good sign. And I think that's being motivated by the next stat, which is the average sale price in land is down 23%. So developers, opportunistic developers that are looking towards the future, keeping in mind that if we buy land today, it's going to take us six to 12 months to get a plan in place, another 12 to 36 months to build that project out. They're trying to figure out what's going to happen in 2026, 2027 and 2028 right now, particularly on the multifamily side of this equation. So the average sale price in land's down 23%. That's, that's good because we haven't seen a similar decrease in labor or supply costs. So 
developers, if they're going to build the housing we know we need, there needs to be a profit margin there for them to be able to take advantage of. So what's my takeaway overall? Okay, rates, everyone's talking about rates. That's what's had a huge impact on the market. Rates are likely to go down, but I don't think they're going to go down all that much. Okay, I hope they do for the sake of affordability, but I think they're going to go down subtly. I don't think we're going to see a rate environment like we saw two, three, four years ago. Okay, so they're going to go down a bit. Prices, in my opinion, are going to hold steady. I'm not predicting dramatic increases, nor am I predicting dramatic decreases. The trends that we're seeing in these stats, I think, is going to continue with prices holding steady. Okay, we talked about new construction stalled with not a lot of inventory coming. So for developers right now, we talked about the really tight margins. The sort of silver lining opportunity for them is if you're looking around in Nanaimo right now for a pre-sale project, there is very, very few. And so over the next one, two, three years, I don't think you're going to see a lot of competition for those that can be build ready within that next one to three year period. So if you're a buyer right now, my advice to you is be prepared. Here's the thing about the next 12 weeks. The prime inventory is coming. And I'll explain my theory on this is, you know, if you think about who's the perfect person to buy a home from, it's someone that bought their home in, the, in a great home with a great floor plan in a great neighborhood. They cared for that home dearly for the time they lived in it. And who tends to own homes like that? People that plan ahead. Stable planners. And what do stable planners do? They list at the best time of the year to list. When the grass is green, the, the flowers are blooming. Okay, we can pressure wash the exterior, we can paint the front door. So all of the prime inventory or the higher percentage of prime inventory is going to hit the market over the, 12, over the next 12 weeks. So if you're a buyer, now's the time to get prepared. Be ready. So when that dream host home comes on the market, you're in a position to jump on it. Okay, those are difficult properties to get your hands on if you're making subject to sale offers. Okay. If you're making subject to sale offers, you're often going to be looking after some of the more, for lack of a better word, some of the more picked over inventory. So you got to be in position to get the prime property that's coming over the next 12 weeks. For sellers, the time is now. Okay, the, What you risk by waiting too long, as spring gets later and later and later, you're up against more stale inventory with increasingly motivated sellers. And the people that are trying to get their homes ready right now, we all know how that goes. We've got a list of projects. We think it's going to take two weeks. Guess what? It takes four, six weeks. It takes longer than we think. So we tend to see an increase in inventory as we get towards late spring. So those that are ready now are taking advantage of less competition. Between now and July 1st, what I'm going to be watching really closely is, is inventory creep. I know new inventory is coming. I know that for sure. What I can't predict is the, the rate of sale that that inventory is going to get met with. So as we hit July, August, the spring market's kind of come and gone. And so inventory is either going to be up the same or lower. I'm super curious as to how this year plays out. Okay. That's the market update. I want to tell you if you're a buyer or a seller right now, we have a guarantee whether you're working with us as a seller or you're working with us as a buyer. I call it our one-sided relationship, which means we're going to commit to you in the form of the level of service we give you if you're looking to buy or if you're looking to sell. But the good news is, this is what makes it a one-sided relationship. You don't have to commit to us. Whether you're a buyer with us or a seller with us, you can cancel your commitment to work with us at any time no questions asked. If you want to learn more about that, whether you're wanting to do an initial buyer consultation where we can tune you to the market opportunities, or you're a seller that's just trying to figure out what your home is worth, we create property valuation reports. So reach out to me or my team at johncooper.ca. I'm John Cooper with John Cooper and Associates, and I'll talk to you soon.